And hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we're inside of Minecraft Ravine Dimensions Parkour or something like that. I don't know. Um, I, I accidentally started this before realizing that my Minecraft audio wasn't working and I had to go fix it. So we are we we don't get to start at the intro screen to the map. Instead, we get to just start at the beginning, which doesn't make a large difference. But you know, it's just a bit weird because I always start at the intro screen for my videos. Still, this this map looks like it should be pretty fun. I don't know how high up the the ravine goes. It's a bit of an older map, and it might not end up being super long. Where am I at? Was I supposed to try to go to that? Or am I fine with this? I think I'm fine with this. Okay, okay. It appears as though if we fall at pretty much any point in this, we'll have to completely restart so not falling is gonna kind of be key and if we beat it first try this will probably be over pretty quickly <laughs> i presume like if we don't fall at all sky's the limit they give us an elytra what what for oh um that's a problem Okay, they bring us back here. That's cool, cool. Um, where, what, why, how? Teleporting in a situation like this is not exactly ideal. I need to figure out the upper jump pipe for this. Whee. Okay, we made it. We are a lot... Okay, let me rephrase that. We did not make it. But this time we'll make it. <laughs> Oh. Okay, and now we've made it. <laughs> For whatever reason, that Elytra part messed with me pretty heavily. Like, I guess that's not too surprising. With Elytras, I can be good with them. It's just a matter of getting the right timing. Where's the Strider at? Oh, there it is. Um, yeah, it's it's just a matter of being in the right mindset for Elytra. <sighs> Wait, is there any way I can quickly die here? Because I think if I die, I'll be able to go back up. Yeah. Oh, it brings me all the way back here. Let's go. Ow. But yeah, like, if I find that if I'm in the right mindset, Elytra is really easy. But if I'm not actually ready for it and go into the elytra, then I end up messing up pretty quickly. I don't trust going down there. But I don't think I really have many other options. Um... Alright, well, let's go see it. It's an interesting way to hide lights. Not exactly the best I've ever seen. Um, where am I supposed to go from here? Oh wait, was I supposed to go up to the log? Okay, okay. I think what's my brightness on? It's on bright. Okay. There's not a lot of lighting in this map. I wasn't sure because I was trying a map that required a lower brightness setting not that long ago. Like, for whatever reason, people have made horror parkour maps. And, I don't know. I, I, I played a bit of it. And it wasn't really what I was looking for. Um, Like, if anybody remembers the horror map me and Riptide did a while back that was just super insanely dark and everything... Like, it, it was kind of that sort of ordeal. And I didn't really want to go through something like that again. So I ended up just kind of saying, eh. Oh. Rip. All the way back here. But yeah, I said I kind of said, eh. I'm going to not bother and move on. So as a result, 
ended up all oh, rolling back to the starter coach. Just kind of giving up on it, which is fine. It wasn't it. It, it didn't appear to be from the little bit that I played all that impressive of a map. Like, it wasn't a bad map, don't get me wrong. But it didn't seem super impressive or anything. Hard to say for sure, but I don't know. I just didn't feel like playing a horror map, even if it was parkour. Like, I, I feel like horror kind of genre stuff has to be very specific for me to like it. Like, I... I, I liked playing the FNAF 1 game. I've enjoyed uh, Security Breach, what I've played so far. But, like... Some horror games are just... Uh, I don't know. Just not my favorite. But, like, in, in those specific cases, with stuff like Security Breach and... Um, Games like that, I really enjoy it. And I also think I'd enjoy some of, like, the competitive survival-type horror games and stuff like that. Checkpoint! What in the world? This one where I can just hold on to it? Yeah. Whee. Okay. Like, I think for me to enjoy horror games, they definitely have to be more survival games, which is pretty typical of horror games. But, for whatever reason, just like Minecraft horror games don't appeal to me. Although, it, this map so far has been amazing. Like, I, I don't like how dark it is up here. I feel like they could have at least attempted to put in some form of lighting. But the map itself. Oh, that's it. Okay. 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 Bit, bit of a shorter map. But still, that was really enjoyable. Firework rockets. Let's go. Woo! Oh, I can't place them. No wonder they gave me a crossbow. They should have put quick charge on it. Still. Woo! I don't know, this this was a fun little short map. Part of the problem with getting better at parkour is maps like these used to be able to fill out a decent chunk of a video, but nowadays they go pretty fast. So yeah, guys, um, I hope you all enjoyed. This was a cool map. And yeah, I guess that's it. I'd like to thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next one. God bless. Bye-bye.